Now we're going to go through the same process using a PC with JAWS. Now I'm going to connect the iPad to the computer. One thing you should probably think about is whether or not you're connected to the internet at the time of connection. It usually does help things move a little faster if you are connected, although everything said and done, it should all work even if you don't have a connection. Now we're just waiting for iTunes to launch. That sound means that the iPad has started to recognize that it's connected to a power source. So that's the sound it makes when it starts to charge. Sources preview music library playlist one of four. When iTunes Level loads one. music library playlist one of four. Again, when iTunes loads or when it first opens, the computer's focus or the screen reader's focus is on the sources list. So what we want to do once again is find the iPad in that list. So I'm going to just arrow down through this list and hopefully um, encounter the uh, pad. Movies, library, TV, show, radios, iTunes, iTunes, tab, iTunes, store, playlist, I shift, tab, F6, sources, preview, ping, playlist. As you can see, sometimes iTunes is not the most responsive with uh, screen readers on the PC side. Tap. So you have to have you have to develop a certain amount of patience when dealing with this particular product. Shift tap. iTunes match library playlist. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can get back to the. Uh... F6, iTunes dialog, please sign in to tab, cancel button. So I'm just going to hit cancel. Space, sources, preview, iTunes, match library, playlist, two of three. Pick plate, level zero, devices, sources, open, level one, Gus's iPad, battery, colon, 88% device. Okay, we found the iPad on the sources list, and now I'm going to just tab until I get to the same radio buttons or the same list of components of the iPad that we encountered when we were looking on the Mac. So we should hear summary. Tab, button summary, radio button checked. Great, so summary is checked as we wanted it to be. And again, the options here are the same. It's set up exactly the same as it was on the Mac, but just the way we interact with the different elements of the screen is a little different between PC and the Mac. So if all else fails with the PC, what you want to do is press the F6 key until you get back to the sources list and then look and find your device listed on the sources list and then you can tab into this section. So I'm just going to tab through relatively quickly. I'm not going to review everything like I did in the last video, but I'm going to move, I'm going to keep tabbing until I get to the universal access or configure universal access button. Tab, button tab, button apps ready tab, button music tab, button movie tab, button TV tab, button photos ready tab, tab, name call tab, capacity colon 13.3 tab, software version tab. Okay, so this series. is all the same information that we tab, encountered. Version. Same information that we encountered when we were doing this on the Mac. Tab. Check for update button. Tab. Your iPad software is up to date. Tab. Restore button. Tab. If you are it's tab. Backup. Tab. Backup. Tab. Backup. Tab. Encrypt local. Tab. Last backed up. Tab. Options. Tab. Open it. Tab. Sync with this iPad. Tab. Sync only. Tab. Prefer stand. Tab. Manually manage. Tab. Configure universal access. Button. And we're back to our configure universal access button. Here I'm going to just press the space bar to activate this dialog. Space universal access dialog. See it colon voice over radio button not checked. Okay. Voice over is the first option here. I'm going to just press again the space bar to check it. Space. Tab. Shift tab. Voice over radio button checked. Okay, that I can tab and shift tab just check to make sure that it's actually selected what I want it to select. And then I'm going to keep tabbing till I get to the OK button, and then hopefully our iPad will start talking again. Tab, 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 use mono tab, show tab, tab, cancel tab, voice over radio, tilde, shift tab, cancel, can, shift tab, OK button. And space bar. Space, universal access dialog, see it colon, iTunes dialog, voice over changes the gestures used to control iPad. Are you sure you want to continue, continue button? Okay, we want to continue, so I'm going to press the space bar. Space, iTunes, Voice over universal on. access Landscape. dialog, see it colon. Home button to the right, messages. Double tap to open. 
Okay, and we've reactivated VoiceOver on the iPad using the PC. The process is very similar between the Mac and the PC, but there are some slight nuances and it really is dependent on the assistive technology you're using. In this case, with our PC, we were using JAWS, but you may be using other screen readers or other types of assistive technology that may interact with this uh, window or with the iTunes window a little bit differently. But um, when all is said and done, both sides work. We were able to reestablish the accessibility setting or to reinitiate voiceover working on the iPad from both the PC and the Mac.